God lives and works today. The Bible calls him the God of all comfort. Today, each one of you who are suffering because God has taken away someone you love can and should experience his wonderful comfort. Today's meditation by Basilea Schlink will tell more about the compassionate love of God. How can God, who calls himself the Comforter, not want to comfort us when one of our loved ones is taken away? Could he speak such words as those in Isaiah 66? As one whom his mother comforts, so will I comfort you, and then not act accordingly. Our Lord Jesus, before he gave himself up to be crucified, told us in John 16 that it was to our advantage that he go away to the Father, for then he would send us the Comforter. Should he not keep his promise? Did he not also proclaim in Matthew 5, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Will he who calls himself the Savior not save his children from pining away in sorrow? As truly as God is love, he suffers with us. He can't leave his children comfortless, and that also includes the bereaved. And Jesus stands besides us and shares our pain, even when we don't actually see him. In eternity we will realize that it was he who was there. It is true that he doesn't give us our loved ones back again. During his time on earth he only brought the dead back to life three times, as a sign that he has power over Satan and death. However, this proof of his power over death is meant to help and strengthen our faith. For when we believe, Jesus truly will reveal his miraculous power in our lives, transforming sorrow into joy, suffering into glory, and despair into comfort and hope. And that's why Jesus came to earth, and he will continue his ministry to his children, making them blessed, that is, delivering them from Satan's power, which tries to drive men into despair. So when you're in the deepest loneliness, and when you feel the most forsaken, that's just when Jesus wants to come and reveal himself to you. Jesus, who loves you, expect this to happen, and you'll experience what you've believed. I bind myself to you, to you alone, to your commandments, to your way. For now your hand upon me lay. I follow, follow you. You are my great reward. I follow you, my Savior, my sovereign and my Lord. This program by Basilea Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan. If you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.